Hello and welcome to another short tutorial from me, Mike Thomas, the Excel Trainer. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting to display a colour in column E against each course to indicate whether the course is full or not. If the course is full, I want it to display red. If the course has still got spaces on it so you can still book, I want to display green and I'm going to do it by changing the background colour of each cell. So I'll start by selecting the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. Go up to conditional formatting. Now I'm using Excel 2013 here but you've also got conditional formatting in other versions too, certainly 2007, 2010 for Windows and 2011 for the Mac. In this example, I'm going to go and create a new rule, a new conditional formatting rule. And you can see here that you've actually got six different rule types. I'm not going to go through them all, but the one I want to use in this example is to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click into the box where I enter the formula and in this case I want to check whether B2 and C2 are the same. So if the number of bookings equals the maximum number of attendees then the course is full and I want it to display as red. So I'll put B2 equals C2. Now it automatically puts the dollar signs in to indicate absolute. And what I need to do, because I want this to apply to all those selected cells, is I need to remove the dollar sign from before the two in each case. And the reason I'm doing that is so that as I copy the formula down, it keeps the reference to B and C, but it changes the reference to two, three, four, and so on. Then I can click the Format button and because I want the background colour to change I'll go over to Fill and in this case choose Red. I can choose a fill effect if I want or I can go and choose more colours but in this case I'm going to keep it simple just choose Red and click on OK and OK again. And you can see that there's only one course that is full. We've got one course where the number of bookings equals the maximum number of attendees. I now want to apply a very similar rule to the same cells so that the cells will change to green if there are still places left on the course. Select the cells again, same cells, go back to conditional formatting and select new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format and type the rule in. So in this case it will be checking whether column B is less than column C. Is the number of bookings less than the number of uh, people allowed on this course? Again I want to remove the absolute dollar sign from before the row number for the same reason I explained before and now go and create the format. Click the format button it remembers I'm on the Fill tab, so in this case it's green. Click on OK, click on OK again. Now to show you how it will change, let's imagine that four more people book onto this Excel introduction course. So now we've got 10 bookings on that course and because B equals C it automatically changes that to red. If you want to go and make changes to the conditional formatting rules, you can be on any cell in the file, go up to conditional formatting and choose manage rules. Choose this worksheet and that shows you the two rules. You can select the rule that you want to change, click on edit rule and make any changes you want to. I'm now going to show you a second example of conditional formatting and the example here is a project status report, often known as an RAG or RAG, uh, which stands for red, amber and green. 
what I've got here is against each item, uh, I've got status of complete, on track or at risk. But I want to display this with colours. Now I'm going to display it with colours and the text, not just the colours. Just as I did before, select the cells that I want to apply the conditional formatting to. Go up to conditional formatting and then choose highlight cell rules. And we've got some predefined rules here. So I could have used a formula, but because we've got predefined rules, I'm going to use text that contains. And I could have actually used one of these predefined highlight cell rules in the previous example. But I'll choose text that contains. And in this case, it's picked up complete because that is the um, text that's in the current cell. So I'll leave that as it is. I don't actually want to use one of those predefined colour schemes. So I'll go to custom format. And if it's complete, I want it to appear with a green fill. Click on OK. And click on OK again. Keeping the same cells selected, back to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, text that contains, and type in on track, a custom format, and we'll make that one amber, sort of orange that'll do. Click on OK, OK again, and finally, anything that is at risk, I want that to be red. Now it's a bit difficult to read that text. So let's change the text color to white. Makes it a bit easy to read. I'll also make that text bold, makes it even easier to read. And so if I go down to promotional materials, I haven't started the promotional materials. I should have done. So this one is at risk of being delayed. And it automatically shows in red. Let's imagine that I have completed the booking of the meeting rooms. Complete. And that one changes to green. So thanks for watching and I hope you found that useful. If you'd like to learn more about Excel, please check out my free training at theexceltrainer.co.uk.